I don't know why I started this up again. I, I don't know why it doesn't hurt. It should. I'm bleeding. When I was little, maybe three or four, I would lay on the couch. My mom had these long nails. Her thumbnails dented like like they grow with these permanent dents uh, that sometimes turn black with dirt, like nail growing over dirt. It's called pitting. She would gently rub her nails against my bare baby skin until I drifted off. And as soon as she stopped, my eyes would dart open and I'd grab her hand, examining with uh, curiosity her thumbs and asking what happened with, with genuine concern. But she would never answer. She would just tell me to go to sleep. When I got older, I'd catch her trying to file the dents in the dirt away, trying to cover them with polish, with gloves, with her sleeve. She'd catch me watching her and then quietly put the file away and ask me what I wanted for dinner. I never said anything. Neither did she. I'd stick my finger in my mouth and chew and she'd slap my hand away and tell me that she'd put garlic and bitter paste on my hands to keep me from chewing. And then she'd threaten to call grandma. So I'd stop. When I was 18 or 19 or 20, I thought I knew everything and I offered to get her a manicure so maybe that would smooth away the dents. She just looked at me and brushed it off and said she's too embarrassed to waste anyone's time on her but she said I should go so my hands aren't ugly so someone falls in love with me someday. I stopped chewing my nails at 12. Puberty came roaring at 13 overnight like a brutal hailstorm that threatened to destroy everything I ever thought important. And this weird thing happened and I don't know when I first noticed it but one day I did. The bones in one toe on each foot stopped growing. The rest of the bones kept growing, leaving this tiny stump on each side. A toe on each foot stuck permanently in childhood and didn't want to grow up with the rest of my body. And I hated it. I stopped playing barefoot outside. I refused to go to pool parties. Anytime someone invited me to a pool, you know, the public pool where all the kids learn to swim at, I'd make up an excuse. I, I was sick. I was allergic to chlorine. I had to watch my brothers. My mom was sick. My dad grounded me. My dog had to go to the vet. And gym class. Gym class. Changing in the locker room. It was a nightmare. I would hide my toes, curl them under, pull on uh, pull socks on my wet feet with shame, and. When I got older and I started to date and I thought maybe I could fall in love. Love. But the thought of exposing my naked body, my bare feet. But there was this one person. God, I would have done anything for this person. And the first time we, when I was naked and trying to hide my bare feet under the blanket, this person saw my toes and I saw the brief flinch of confusion, of judgment, of repulsion, of disgust. We never talked about it. Ever. We dated for two years, living together for two years, and in the entirety of that time I almost always wore socks and slippers. And years went by, years bottling things up, pushing everything away, trying desperately to achieve perfection, always with this ugly secret, this ugly part of me spiraling further and further and further into self-destruction. I met this person and we were both such a fucked up mess. And the first time that we in a whirlwind of vodka. I passed out. I didn't intend to, but I did. And this person <laughs> gently took off my shoes and socks, and when I woke up in the morning, I was beyond humiliated. I fumbled around for my socks, trying not to look at this person, trying not to see the flinch of disgust as we talk around the elephant in the room. But this person, 
just looked at me and smiled and said, I like your toes. <laughs> With sincerity and honesty and I just brushed it off. Just like the, my papa to my grandma. Just like my mom to me. And now, when I chew my nails to blood, I think maybe it's exactly the ugliness that's really the beauty. <laughs>